Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my Call of Cthulhu blind playthrough. A new kind of project I was thinking about trying. So without further ado, let's enter the madness right now. Adjust the brightness so that the darkest icon is barely visible. Yes, sure, whatever. <laughs> I usually never change these things. <laughs> Loading profile. Okay, let's go into settings. Graphic. Gotta love that graphic. Yeah, sure. Game. Subtitles on. Detection on. Crosshair off. Yeah, sure. I usually go with basically just the starting controls. <laughs> uh, control. Wireless controller. No, I'm not. I'm actually using my Razer Raiju controller. But let's not fuck about with controls anymore. New game. Empty slot. Yes. Boston 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective uh, who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Ooh. Torpor kind of sounds like that old game Vampire. You know, where vampires could go down into torpor if they were hurt. So they could sleep for, I don't know how long, but that would heal their wounds and they will come out stronger. Enter madness, yes. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end, H.P. Lovecraft. I'm a big fan of Lovecraft actually, I haven't played the role-playing game, but I have read quite a lot of his work. Great horror writer and this is... wow! <laughs> big shark! Big shark! <laughs> But it appears to be a dead shark, at least. <laughs> well, let's see if we get in control of what's called Edward. <laughs> and I am gonna try to make these videos around the 30 minute mark. I have a little stopwatch that I glance over at from time to time. All right, so we have the controls. Of course, we have the obligatory tutorial level. Is there anything fun in here? I think it's a bit weird because I am using a Bluetooth headset that I borrowed from my girlfriend and the sound cuts in and out a little bit. Which is a little bit annoying, but that's just something for me. That shouldn't be a problem for you. Toggle the circle. Crouch. And this recording, before I even start recording this, if you're watching this, it means that everything has gone well and the recording is completed. But I have gone <laughs> through so many problems <laughs> recording this game. I almost entered madness before I even sat down by my computer and pressed record. Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay. So we're gonna grab this little lantern. Awesome. Hurricane lamp. Thank you very much. Because I had to move my mic, I had to get this Bluetooth headset, and I didn't think we had one, so I decided to go and buy one. And managed to break one of the windows in my car in the process. So uh, my car was in the shop <laughs> for a few days while they fixed it. And everything has just been a hassle. But I'm glad to get this project off the ground. It's going to be real interesting doing a commentary while I'm playing. Because doing my walkthroughs, I usually always just record and... Okay. How the hell do I get up the lamp? <laughs> Being extremely clumsy. How do I pick it up? 
Am I missing something? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is the great thing about doing walkthroughs. What the hell? I have to go into controls. Uh, wireless controller. Run L2, lean left L1. Access diary, next slide, previous slide. Shoot. Can you shoot things? Awesome. Interact. X. Okay. Ah, there we go. Bolt cutter. <laughs> it's hard to think that I have actually made walkthroughs and I can't figure out the basic controls of this game. <laughs> but either way, we are on our way. <laughs> if I can just... Ah, you have to press X once again to open the door. That's nice. Very poetic. So, is there anything good in here? And I think it's quite interesting with this game because I am not a big fan of first person horror games overall. I haven't played Outlast, I haven't played Amnesia, Alien Isolation, any of that shit. For a few different reasons. First of all, I don't like horror games where you can't defend yourself, where you have to hide. And actually, first-person horror games, I think, are scary as fuck. <laughs> because... Nice. Because when, when you're playing a third-person game, it doesn't happen to you. It happens to your character. But when they get up in your face... <laughs> that's when I lose my shit. I'll try to keep it together for the duration of this uh, of this uh, playthrough or whatever you should call it, my blind playthrough of this game, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and once again, if you're watching this, it means I have recorded the entire thing. I may not have uploaded it yet, but it will be on its way. Because I decided not to do an upload until I have finished the entire game. Much like I do with my uh, walkthroughs. Ooh. Very Cthulhu-esque arm, dude. <laughs> Looks like something out of Bloodborne. There was one of those superpowers that you could use with your... Uh, with your bullets. Some kind of magic that would make you get a tentacle arm. I really lost my flow on that one. I'm so sorry for that. I hate whiskey. I love whiskey. Can I have whiskey? Someone please. I'm home alone, but I I could go for whiskey. Should we have a drink or don't drink? Hmm. Tough call. Let's have a drink. What the hell? This will affect your destiny, by the way. <laughs> oh, but of course it will. It always does. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Ooh. He seems to be a very troubled guy. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable, unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? I like this. <laughs> it's quite interesting with horror games Natural that... Science. You uh, play them even though they, in my case, scared the living shit out of you. Natural sciences, okay. linguistics, archaeology. Can't open, can't take out that book. So let's see what's in the drawer. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you've already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Okay. Cool. 
So let's see what's else in this office. Can we change the station? Now we can just turn it off. I'm more like a heavy metal guy. Ooh, phone ring. <laughs> Hello? I'm listening. Wentworth Detective Agency? <laughs> Have you ever seen the old show Prisoner Cell Block H? <laughs> that was Wentworth Detention Center or Wentworth Prison or whatever. <laughs> uh, I hate telemarketers. Alright, we get the skill tree. Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. Uh, we have eight character points. Investigation represents your investigative talents. Improving this skill increases your chance of understanding past events by analyzing a crime scene or an object and of picking locks. Uh, let's put one into investigation, shall we? 45% should be somewhat okay. Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving this skill increases your chance of forcing doors or mechanisms or of using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving this skill increases your chance of determining the dosage of a drug, of making a diagnosis, or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Who gives a shit? Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving this skill increases your chance of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. Shouldn't that be be in investigation? I think so. Shouldn't it? I'll get back to you. Psychology. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or on the analysis of objects. This is also something I think that should be in investigation, shouldn't it? Hmm. We'll put two in that. We'll put a little more investigation. I like to be a strong guy. And uh, eloquence. Eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving this skill increases your chance of convincing or manipulating during discussions. Yeah, sure. Why not? So, yeah, I think we're done. Validate. Do you really want to validate this character points attribution? Yes. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And if we Oh my god, she's talking for long. Work is scarce. Mm -mm -mm. You know as well as I do. It's always interesting with these parts because you want to listen to but them, those cases worth it. but it slows down the game. <laughs> but since this is a blind playthrough, I will keep in loading screens, I will keep in cutscenes, all that stuff. Because I want to watch that as well. First time I play for a game, I always like to watch these things. So oh, come on. Sir, I came here on the advice Ooh, of a cool person painting. whom I hold in <laughs> high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. But it's always like that in these games, or in movies, or in books. You're free to leave anytime, sir. There cannot Do be a private investigator who does not West have West a West drinking West problem. Right. Usually because of a woman or because his brother was killed by a toon who talked just like this! <laughs> and that's the way it has to be. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. And your acting skills are amazing. 
Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything. <laughs> That's a shitty day. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but no, no, it was Kavulu or Shubnigurov or Nialafotep or any else of the other other elder gods with more tentacles that <laughs> would seem healthy. <laughs> Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. All the assumptions that come to mind. Yes, because that's how detectives work. <laughs> we just assume things. We use evidence. God damn it. I watched NCIS. <laughs> you have to look at clues and sometimes it's because screenwriting. Because that guy is always... You know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, let's investigate this painting. I, placed a I like this painting. Desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. I would gladly hang this up on my wall. Examine the painting and examine the Hawkins file. Okay, let's examine this painting. Oh, you have to hold it. It's strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of the Ooh. carries. Got a trophy. Ex oblivioni. <laughs> Is that it? Okay, <laughs> that's all I had to do. <laughs> Just go over to the painting. So let's examine this file. A, a shipping label. Some of it's unreadable, but I can make out right, part okay. of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Alright. Yeah, it is rather thin. Can we rotate? Oh. Nothing on the back? No? Okay. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these? Not a lot. <laughs> Something's not right with the story. Find out about Warehouse 36. Yeah, the sure. label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Okay. Uh, where did she live? Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I as they do, as they do. <laughs> Dark water holds the <laughs> my daughter, I suppose you want to ship me off there. Well, yes. That's why he came to you for help, stupid. Uh, I read about her mental fragile. If what the police suggest about the Whatever. mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Ooh, she's one of the chosen ones. She can hear the elder gods. I never knew. No, I'm gonna be a bit more serious. Can't fuck about too much. You must find out the truth about her life and death. The animations of the characters. Her husband was a big deal. Seems really outdated. This is, I must say, this is not what I expected of a game coming out in late 2018. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it. Because I am aware of that. This game was supposed to come out last year, and even by last year's standards, these graphics would have been considered quite outdated. Uh, can we find out more about Warehouse 36? That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go okay. Yeah, yeah. You're asking the wrong guy. 
Not an art critic. I guess you're not as clever as you think, then. Nope. The painting is linked <laughs> to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. All right. I think that's all. So that's all the information I need. Understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. All right. But something's up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent by Dark Water <laughs> right. That's not a lot to Correct. go on. And the rumors about her supposed folly. <laughs> Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You will be handsomely compensated. You'll be handsomely compensated. Right. I'll take the case. Just so you know, we'll, we'll pay you shitloads of money. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Ooh, ooh, ooh shots fire. fired. <laughs> but it's not like I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dark water. Something's queer. <laughs> I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. All right. The Learning of Medicine, Volume 1. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. Yeah, that helps a lot when you're going against Cthulhu. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. Okay, can we rotate this? Not much. Medicine Progression. That's awesome. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Yeah, who cares, as long as it pays the bills. Uh, let's open his drawer. Uh -huh. Can't pull anything out? I used to be an avid reader. Okay. <laughs> Find out about dark water. Can, can it be in this file camera? Yes, it is. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Well, apparently your wife may have found out that she's a homosexual. So, <laughs> you can't... <laughs> That's just the way it is. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. Just be happy that she came to terms with that and hopefully lives Dark happy with her new coast. girlfriend. <laughs> Darkwater well, Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romances of these movies... Moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. That's a hell of a lot of text to go through. And it's almost getting close to wrapping All up this first episode, so... But we I still have a few minutes. All right, so how do we leave? Is there anything? Let's have another drink. Just for good measure. <laughs> Bottoms up, Eddie boy. <laughs> All right, we are strengthened by whiskey and medicine and uh, knowledge. So let's fuck off. Let's hold down the button so we can fuck off. <laughs> the Sarah Hawkins case. Yay, another trophy. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father disturbing painting. Yes, it's not disturbing, it's a pretty painting. On shipping label, an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Dark Water. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. All right, and then we have a fuck ass long loading screen. Is that gonna be something that's gonna be through this entire game? Then maybe I should try and trim down these loading screens. Not quite sure. It's quite hard because I am I'm recording this 
into two different programs at once. Because I tried in my recording software to record everything into that, but then I would have to adjust the audio volumes before I start recording because apparently you can't export it as two different files. So I have my editing program up and running and I have my recording program up and running and afterwards, after I'm done with this, it's going to be an interesting project to sit and line these two up with each other because I'm going to have to do that blindly. But we're going to I think actually we're going to end this episode right here. We're going to go into chapter two and through madness, but yeah, let's do it. We have about four more minutes, so at least we can see the cutscene. <laughs> And I think they could have done a better job. I'm criticizing this game a lot, even though I'm just <laughs> under 30 minutes into it. But I think they could have done a better job of maybe hiding the loading screens inside the cutscenes. Because who wants to sit there and watch a 30 second loading screen before you go into a cutscene? Start the cutscene and load the game during it. Just like the Uncharted games do. A lot of the a lot of loading screens are hidden inside cutscenes in those games. You know those cutscenes that you can't skip? Works great because that game also has a really fun story and it doesn't much or at least I don't mind playing even through all those <laughs> or watching through all those cutscenes. How many cutscenes can we mention in very few seconds? <laughs> wow. You see how that boat moves? That's really riggedy. Call of Cthulhu. Alright, so we are past the tutorial part of the game. I assume. Skilla. I recognize that. Where the hell is that from? I think that's some part of mythology. Maybe like Greek mythology or something. I'm gonna have to look that up at a later time. But let's see. Oh, we're still in cutscene country. There's guys coming to unload. Okay. Because we are barely seamen. <laughs> Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Thank you. Why, thank you, Captain. See? Well behaved. <laughs> so, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, Probably a lot. A sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins Welcome to Darkwater. What the hell is a land lover? Sarah Hawkins. Is that uh, for someone who doesn't have his sea legs? <laughs> you know what? Go have a drink at Go Strand have a drink at Strand Whale. What you need a is a pick good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. Find me at the it's harbor the master's Hawkins office. Family that brings you here. I have a pile of documents that should interest you. All right. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Going for a look around the docks. Yes. But I'm going to end this first episode right there. We're just around the 30 minute mark, so it seems only fitting. I hope you will enjoy this blind playthrough. <laughs> I hope I will enjoy this blind playthrough. But... Until next time, I uh, want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman signing off.